Hello once again, it's time for another Warframe mission. This time I have jumped into the game because there is an alert for uh, a blueprint part for a, one of the new characters. So I will go into that mission now and we will see what happens. Again, using Ash trying to level this character up. Um, I've put the colours into something a bit more reasonable. Using Snipetron, which is essentially a, a long-range rifle that's uh, not too great unless you completely pimp it out with all of the various accessories. Um, the main one really is crit chance the this rifle has 20% so with 150% extra that's up to 50% and extra damage and all the various other bits and bobs and also not to mention reload speed because this thing by default takes about four or five seconds to reload. So yes, let's go into the game. Let's see what happens. It'd be nice to get some blueprints, I suppose. Our raid's not too bad. As a mission type, you just have to go in and uh, find a console, essentially. Readings are off the chart here. One of the Oregon artifacts is aboard this vessel. Locate it and bring it back. I can hear a camera. Keep going. Nobody knows you're on this vessel. Uh, someone's probably going to do the alarm. Yes. So as you can see that the um, reload was quite a long time, even with this 30% upgrade for someone else. <laughs> this is Corpus, by the way, so as you can see, these enemies are mostly bipedal robots. Although now I've said that, mostly, uh, oh, good heavens. So as you can see, the Corpus utilise security cameras, which make stealth missions more difficult. Like heavy activity ahead. They also have a habit of putting um, these laser grids across doorways, and if you run into them, it depletes some of your shields and forces you to uh, be knocked over. My rifle here has got many upgrades on it, so the vast majority of enemies in this game it just kills in one shot. in this game do have a nasty habit of continually spawning. This is the shockwave mower, as you can see it stamps the floor and uh, produces a shockwave that knocks you over. They come out of these cabinets and they have a, a nasty habit of 
continually respawning. Oh, yeah, it's knocked over by the camera. <laughs> oh dear, no shields. Time to run away. This man in two with a fist. It's fairly potent. Uh, they have to have a nasty habit of continually spawning. Anyway, where's that camera? It's usually another one. So the cameras you have to shoot. They also, if a camera sees you, uh, any turrets on the ceiling will open up and engage you. ruffians interfering. So I don't want to shoot that explosive drum. The, the you know, ah, uh, there we are. There. Someone else shot it for me. Wonderful. Ah, 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 ah. Quickly, this exposure to space decreases your shields. So that's why. You want to sort it out quickly. It's a shield generating an oh, Jesus. Just give everyone a bit of the old chop chop. Yes, so as you can see, that's where I came from, and the enemies just have a nasty habit of continually making appearances. I think it's a uh, sniper rifle ammunition, which is something I want. Money. So, the main issue really with Ash, as I've said before, he's uh, a sort of slightly stealth based combat character. Um, he has invisibility, but it's a bit abysmal, really. It's about two seconds. Um, so it's not really worth it in comparison to Loki, whose invisibility can last for about 10 seconds. Uh, so it's a bit questionable. I mean, the only, uh, and then also the teleport ability that Ash has teleports you to someone, and it pauses you for a moment, which basically means if you teleport to an enemy, they get a free melee attack on you. So again, that's not great. Come here. Oh, shockwave mode. <laughs> Still knocks me over. Uh, come on then. Right. Buffoon! Enemies. 
Spawning, it's gonna take me forever to try and get through this route. Uh, Don't want that camera seeing me. So, yes, this panel quite nicely highlights itself. Right, can I proceed? Still being pursued. Oh, go away. They're so inconsiderate. Trying to kill me. Rubido, always good. So. Ah! As soon as you shoot a camera, the turrets disappear again. Ah, uh, yes. The room with all these things. Except that all of the enemies have probably respawned or been generated. You can see here the flying thing giving these enemies shields. So, yes, yeah, Snipetron is very powerful with the correct sort of mods on. Most of the enemies in this game it will one shot other than have say um, infested ancients which are these very large annoying things. Yeah, so the cameras seem to be quite easy to hear, whereas one of the things I've noticed in Team Fortress is a lot of the time I can have people, um, if I'm playing Sniper for example, I can have spies decloaking behind me ah! and uh, not hear them at all. So I don't know what's going on in particular. Ah, the end of the level. Marvellous. I can hear someone. 
throw some shuriken at someone's face. Yes, the shuriken seems to be thrown with so much force that it, it uh, impales people towards us. Has that man lost his arm? It would appear that way. if there are any potential resources or not. Nope. Empty room. Basically, the way that they've done this in this game is anything that's red, i.e. lights on the door or on these cupboards, means you can't use them. And if it's green, it means it can be uh, opened. Why ya! So there we are, we can see on the right hand side items obtained, forbidden systems, blueprint switches. That's what I came here for. So, thank you very much, and I will see you again next time. Take care.